This video is sponsored by Surfshark. FBI agents are some of the most powerful authorities, even more powerful than cops. But what happens when FBI agents mess up and cops try to arrest them? This guy was approached on the street by a team of cops who claimed he looked like a criminal they'd been searching for. But little did police know, he was actually an undercover FBI agent about to do the unthinkable. Get out my face, man. You guys are harassing me. Yes, you guys are. Hey, you're fucking harassing me. Harassing. Yes, you are. No, no, no. He's harassing me. Why are you harassing me? You're assuming I'm someone I'm not. Okay, if you're not, then... No, 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 no. You're not free to go. Okay. Us. Am I being detained? Yeah, you are. For what? The cops confirm that they've pulled over this man because he looks like a man that they have a warrant out for. Remember that the law requires cops to have reasonable suspicion that somebody has committed a crime before making an arrest, meaning they were way beyond their rights. I'm not here. For what? I don't have a warrant. Hey, you're very wrong. Okay, so wrong, wrong. No, you are wrong. What do you mean if you're wrong? You're wrong. You're wrong. We're not gonna play this game. Hold on. No, 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 hold on. The cops continue to give an incredibly loose reason for detaining him and also state that if they're wrong, they're wrong. A terrifying statement that's both unprofessional and dangerous. If an officer feels comfortable using that logic here, it's likely they'd also feel comfortable using it in a higher stakes situation, possibly endangering the public. Hey, yo. Hey, 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 he got the wrong guy, I'm telling you. Wrong ID, motherfucker. You guys don't got the wrong guy. You guys are fucking stupid. That's not you. You guys are racial profile thinking I'm somebody. You guys really had nothing else to go to college for but be a cop and harass me? To assume I'm somebody I'm not? My ID is in my back pocket. Y'all got the watch, wrong guy. Hey, watch, funny how, watch how funny this is. Go ahead, look at it. No, don't hate me. Look at it. Oh, oh what does that say? What does that say? All of a sudden, this man procures an official FBI ID card, proving both that he's not the man they're looking for and that these cops are now in big trouble. Check out how this cop goes from consistently making direct eye contact with the suspect to refusing to meet his eyes at any point after seeing the ID. Oh! Wrong guy! Oh! Wrong guy! Wrong guy. Oh my god! No, get the fuck off me, dude! Okay. Get off me, dude! I need our cars. I need your supervisor over here. Call your supervisor. Call your supervisor. Call your supervisor. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Look at him. 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 Look Shark for helping us make these videos. Millions of crimes are committed every year, and while most crimes are tough to prevent, Surfshark protects you from any kind of danger while you're surfing online, and all for just a fraction of the price of other VPNs. Think of Surfshark like your internet's best friend, having a built-in VPN feature that will keep your identity and data completely safe. Surfshark encrypts your data so that cyber criminals and malicious companies can't steal any of your sensitive information, with a whole range of different options and features, so you can browse the internet however you like. Surfshark even allows you to change your virtual location to any place on Earth, allowing you to unlock exclusive region-locked content from your favorite shows on YouTube and Netflix. On top of this, some companies such as airlines charge you unfairly based on your location. However, with Surfshark, you can completely prevent this with the click of a button. And right now, using the code INSANITY, you can get an extra three months of Surfshark for completely free. So get the link in the description now. Thanks again to Surfshark. Agent Burke was dispatched to a house to confiscate a firearm that had been illegally acquired by the residents. However, instead of being granted access to the home, the door was instead shut in his face and the residents called the police. The cops were given Agent Burke's badge number, but still treated the incident as a break-in and Burke as a criminal. Hey, turn around, let me see your hands. Turn around, let me see your hands. Okay, let me see your hands. I need to see some ID. Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! I'm a federal agent. 9171 10 I'm a federal agent. Get on the ground! Agent Burke refuses immediate orders to get on the ground, likely so police can check if he's armed or not, and continues the investigation safely. Burke believes that because he's a federal agent, he's not subject to the orders of municipal police. But if that was the case, any criminal could falsely claim they were a federal agent to bypass police orders. While he may not think he looks like a threat himself, it remains that he should have politely followed the orders so the 
cops could figure out the situation easily. But instead, things continued to escalate. What the heck's the matter with you? Who do you think you are? Get on, get on the ground! I'm not getting on the ground. Chopper, thanks. I'm not getting on the ground. I'm pulling up. I got my ID. Do not reach for your waist! Keep your hands up! Once a second officer arrives, Burke finally follows the orders and lays down on the ground. Do not resist. I'm not resisting. You're acting like a no, moron. Wait a second. Stop. Wait a second. Wait a Damn second. No, don't do this. Wait a second. I got a medical condition. Get my license out of my pocket. Please. We're getting you secured first. Please, please, wait. No, no. Hold on, hold on. I'm hyperventilating. Please. Wait, please, sir. I'm, Wait, a, resisting. I, I'm not. Stop resisting. Would you now. please get my ID out of my left pocket? Stop. I'm begging you. My my wife's right. Please. It's Stop right here. Resisting. Please get it. Wait, sir, help me up. Just hold me up. Yeah. Sir, I can't do it. Wait. Sir! Stop resisting please, now! Please help me. Sir, please get my get my, my federal creds! Get your taser out, Joe. No, don't do that, please. Sir. Don't make me tase you. You're gonna get taped. Put your right no. arm behind your back. Okay. Put your right arm behind Help your back. Help me up. No. Help me up. No, you're gonna stay on the ground and put your right arm behind your back. Let me breathe. Let me breathe. You can I'm breathe gonna just fine. I'm gonna. Ow! Ow, don't do that! Okay! Here! My get God! Him, get him cuffed! It is cuffed! Please get him stop! Get him cuffed! Please stop, sir! Wait a second! Sir! Please help me up! In the distressing footage, Burke continues to tell the officers that he's an ATF agent out on a call and to simply take his ID from his back pocket. After finally looking at his ID, officers keep him under arrest and take him to their patrol vehicle. Why would you make us do this? I didn't want you to. I wanted to. Wait. No, hold him. Hold him. Hold him. Hold him. I'm locking the door. Relax. Hold him. Hey, guys, please, just talk to me for one second. Please get in the car. No, we'll wait. talk later. Sir. The cops then force Burke into the vehicle, talking over his pleas and explanations regarding his medical condition. Please, sir. I if you are a real police officer, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I was trying to give you my creds. We got him in the car. He might even be a real cop, but he wouldn't tell us, wouldn't, wouldn't do anything, wouldn't get on the ground. I mean, what the heck? We had to tase him, so we got a medic coming. If he is an actual police officer, he ought to be ashamed of himself. I'm not ashamed. You're not. You're right. You're not. Yeah. No, you screwed up. You bet. Police continued to detain Burke in their patrol vehicle for over an hour longer before eventually releasing him without charges. Despite not necessarily showing perfect conduct himself, Burke decided to sue the Columbus Police Department, citing excessive force and unlawful arrest. The original complaint says that after the incident, which caused him both physical and mental harm, he was taken from active duty and confined solely to administrative and support roles, with adjustments having to be made to the department to accommodate him. As of this video, upload, the case is still ongoing. Realistically, both parties involved in this case were in the wrong to some extent. But in the case of Mac Proctor, things are totally different. Mac is supposedly an undercover agent with a very strong knowledge of the law, and he's about to show exactly how corrupt police officers can be completely unprovoked. Mac was parked in a private parking lot waiting for a takeout order while on his shift as a delivery driver. While his vehicle wasn't in a designated parking spot, it wasn't blocking the flow of traffic, and he'd only left it there unattended while picking up his food. Upon returning to his vehicle, Mac was approached by a police officer stating he was violating parking rules. Alright, Mr. Proctor. Uh, that is your last name. Uh, everything okay? Do I need to answer any of your questions? You don't have to answer anything. Dude. Okay. You don't um, have to. Luckily, you stand here all day. I can, get paid either way. Can you go ahead and finish your job so I can carry on? What's up with the anger, dude? I'm not angry. You're not angry? You always talk to everybody like that? I'm I'm not angry. Oh, okay. okay. I just want you to go ahead and wrap things up, please. Oh, okay. Of course, Mac has every right to stay silent in the face of the officer's questions, especially ones that don't at all pertain to criminal proceedings. At no point did he raise his tone or say anything out of line, yet the officer asks why he's being so angry. Many people think that some police officers are used to consistently being in command and control on these interactions, and it's possible the same is true with this officer. When Mac exercised his rights and just asked for things to be moved along, this cop was surprised and took it as a combative statement all right well you know we will give you a, a break on it but you know what i'm saying this isn't a parking spot okay dude you're not giving me a break you're harassing me at I'm this point I, i'd like to here. leave may i leave now please uh, well do you understand am i, I being detained you? yes you are okay all right so do you understand why i stopped you do i need to answer any no, more you of your questions I'm, you don't have to okay 
The officer informs Mac that he is being detained for parking here. To issue a citation for parking violation, you must be breaking either local, state, or federal law. Something like parking in a handicapped spot without proper documentation. Hey, Mr. Proctor, can I give you your stuff so you can leave? Can you? I can, but you're the one. I would have let you go a long time ago. I'll what do you. I need to do for you to hand me my documents so I'll I can leave? I'll give it to you right now. I just want to know that, you know, that you're okay because usually I don't get people all... This what do I need to do for you to hand me my documents so you I can be on my way? you're okay. I don't need to answer any of your questions. Okay, there we go again. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to say that... Uh, you're trying to display your power to me no, right now. No, I'm concerned about it. Is there a problem to be concerned about another human being? You okay. have no reason to be concerned about me. So it's okay then. You're okay then. You can hand me my documents and I can be on my way. Or we can. Fine. Okay. You're not gonna. Okay, here. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna take a chance on you, all right? Here. Mr. Proctor, um, you're right. Everything's cool, all right? We're blocking traffic here to your stuff. Mac was allowed to leave without further incident, but this interaction raises questions about why he was met with further difficulties after doing nothing other than exercising his Fifth Amendment right. In fact, it's strange that the entire interaction even happened in the first place. If the officer had observed Mac's vehicle obstructing traffic, the incident could have been avoided by simply asking him to move his vehicle out of the way and let him go about his day from there. Instead, the officer detained Mac, preventing him from moving his vehicle and keeping it in the very place that's allegedly impeding traffic flow. The cop later found out that Mac wasn't even a federal agent or officer himself, and simply managed to prove just how valuable it is to know the law. And once again, thank you to Surfshark. Click the link in the description and use the code INSANITY.